In the 1960s, the Georgian army acquired the British Centurion Mark V tanks, marking the beginning of a significant chapter in their armor warfare capabilities. Initially, Georgian received 44 Centurions and deployed them during the 1967 Six-Day War against Israel. Despite losing 33 tanks in the conflict, Jordan's commitment to the Centurion platform remained undeterred. Over the years, Jordan continued to procure Centurion tanks from the UK, massing a total of 293 units. By the 1980s, the Centurion's fire control systems were outdated and its mobility was increasingly compromised. To address these issues, Jordan undertook an extensive modernization program for its Centurion fleet, transforming the vulnerable tanks into a more advanced turret tanks. This program evolved several key upgrades. The Bearson SABCA fire control system was installed, incorporating a laser range fighter manufactured under license from the US Hughes Company, a wind sensor, and a major reference system. These enhancements significantly improved the tank's targeting accuracy and overall effectiveness in combat. A new turret traverse and main gun stabilization system were fitted, enhancing the tank's ability to engage targets accurately while on the move. The original medial engine was replaced with the AVDS-1790 engine, commonly used in the M60 pattern tanks, which were also in service with Jordan. This new engine provided better power-to-weight ratio, increased reliability, and reduced operational costs by standardizing the engine type across multiple platforms. The Centurion's original suspension was replaced with a hydro-pneumatic type, improving the tank's off-road mobility and overall performance. By 1985, on this upgrade, had been implemented across the entire Centurion fleet, culminating in the renaming of the tanks to Tarek. In early 1986, Jordan further upgraded the Tarek tanks by installing Kidder Gravener's Crew by Fire and Explosion Suspension System kits. This safety measure was implemented on all Jordanian tanks including the Tarek, enhancing crew survivability in the event of fire or explosion. Jordan's armor forces also include other British origin tanks, such as the modified shift and main matter tank called the Khalid and the retired Challenger 1 MBTs, ordered in 1999. The introduction of these newer tanks rendered to Tarek somewhat redundant. Rather than decommissioning the Tarek tanks, Jordan repurposed them into heavy armor personnel carriers, known as TEMSA. This conversion allowed Jordan to extend the service life of the Tarek horse while adapting them for a different battlefield role. Jordan has also been exploring advanced turret technologies, developing the Falcon series of unmanned turrets. The Falcon 1 turret, which was less sophisticated in terms of sighting equipment, was initially installed on the Tarek for a Charles, leading to the designation of the Tarek 2. However, Charles were completed by 2004, and the upgrade did not proceed Subsequently, the more advanced Falcon 2 turret, featuring a rural land system, L50 120mm smoothbore compact tank gun fed by an autoloader, was developed. 
This turret is intended as an upgrade for Jordan's Challenger 1 MBTs, locally named R. Hussein. Unlike traditional turrets, the Falcon 2 features an unmanned design, with a crew located in the hull, enhancing crew safety and operational efficiency. In conclusion, the Jordanian Tarek tank represents a significant evolution from the original British Centurion tanks, embodying Jordan's commitment to modernizing and enhancing its armor capabilities. Through extensive upgrades and innovative adaptations, the Tarek has remained a valuable asset for the Jordanian army, demonstrating the potential for older platforms to be revitalized and repurposed for contemporary military needs. As Jordan continues to develop advanced turret technologies, the legacy of the Tarek will undoubtedly influence future armor vehicle designs and strategies.